How's it going, Cancer Babies? <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today. I am doing your November 2021 Wealth and Abundance forecast for your house of money. I will be using, I like to call this my money deck, okay? Because the pentacles are very vibrant. If you're ever going to request a reading for me and you ask me a financial question, I will probably use the Gilded Tarot unless you ask me otherwise. So on that note, if you guys are interested in a private reading, my email address is below. It's ariesfiretarot at gmail.com. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy your reading. If your sun sign isn't resonating, just go find the um, moon sign reading for this month, okay? Um <clears throat> So just before I started shuffling, I'm getting ready to press record and messing with the lighting because I'm never happy with it. I heard a voice and I do have my team in spirit here whenever I do readings. Um, and it said, cancer is just about to get their just desserts. Okay, so this means you're about to be rewarded for everything that you've worked so hard for. So this means that like everything that you've gone through, it's not been not recognized by the universe okay because you guys man i've seen you guys like go down that hill like be very like in despair and feeling like such a big struggle but you just came back up man you guys are so strong right now i'm starting to get goosebumps this is a really good feeling uh for you guys for your november wealth reading you're absolutely going to have something to celebrate. Okay. We do have the four of wands here. This is the card of celebration. You guys could be linked with that fire sign. I've seen fire in the cancer readings and I've seen water in the fire readings for Leo. Okay. So you guys could have something going on here, a project that is finally blossoming. Um, I do see you guys where... <clears throat> This is the visual that I'm getting, okay? I'm seeing you like rip open a letter. Guys, I just need to a sip of water. I'm really sorry, hold on. Okay, back to that visual. Like I see you guys sitting, opening the mail and you're like, here we go, you know. <laughs> and you open one particular envelope and then you read the contents. And I actually see the address being upside down on the, on the envelope. And then you open up the letter and like jumping up out of your seat and like doing a little happy dance, okay? So there's something to celebrate. Could be something right out of the blue, um, just a surprise. And this is how the universe works. Uh, I was listening to affirmations this morning. I listened to these gratitude affirmations by You Are Creators. And one of them was, um, I'm grateful for the money that I earn. I'm grateful for the money that I receive and I'm grateful for the money that I attract, okay? So you see how there's a bunch of different ways of money coming into your life? You could just attract this out of the blue, okay? Just boom, here it is on your lap, in your hands, you know, ready to take to the bank. I'm gonna write that down, okay, hold on. So there's that phrase, um, laughing all the way to the bank, but you guys are going to be skipping and tap dancing and like, woohoo, you know, that's what I'm seeing for you guys in November and well-deserved, you know, and just from a source that you never even considered before. So, uh, remember to take things with gratitude when they come in. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I can't possibly take that. It's too much. I don't deserve it. Stop. Okay. You do deserve it. You can possibly take it. It's not too much. It's just going to be right. And it's going to be right for you. And this is, it's sort of payment in full for everything that you've gone through, all the hard work that you've done on yourself, you know, coming back out of that, um, I'm getting this weird visual of Silence of the Lambs, you know, where he's looking down in the well. It puts the lotion in the basket. Okay, so you guys had to crawl your way out of there. <laughs> Throw your lotion at this guy and then run for your life. Okay, you guys really had a challenging couple of years. Thank you for the visual spirit guides. Okay, so look at this. Remember what I was saying. 
about this is something that you deserve. This is for all the hard work that you guys have done, not just on yourself, but for other people. Because even though I've seen this constant struggle with your own emotion, your own pain, you guys have always been helping other people, you know, even if it was sort of your last teardrop or just the last ounce of energy where you just all you wanted to go with all you wanted to do was basically go lay down and rest and just say I'm so drained but then your friend or somebody from your family called you or texted you and they needed an ear you guys were there you guys were there and you were that rock even when you felt like being sand you know you just Okay, okay, yeah, I can help you. Yeah, for sure. What is it, right? So you're giving out all that energy, giving it to the collective, to your friends, and you guys are some of the sweetest people and, and helping strangers and just sending all this love out to the universe. This is what's coming back now. You know, you can see, like, check out the Six of Pentacles. You know, here you are doing your thing, I don't even think you guys are aware of how amazing you are, you know, of how genuine and, and just loving and caring and, and how the ripple effects have been, you know, like picking people up so that they can carry on and, and you're just doing your thing to you guys. It's like, it's just a way to live. You know, you don't think of it as like, you don't go home and go, Oh, I was so amazing. And I deserve all this. You know, you're just, well, I hope I was able to help enough. But meanwhile, you helped way more than you ever thought you could because it is that domino effect, that ripple effect that you're sending out into the universe where you helped somebody else get back on their feet or helped somebody smile so they were able to pay it forward. So if you think of every single person that you have ever helped with a kind word or a smile or a couple of bucks, or help them hold the door, you know, and you're just doing all these like beautiful things that everybody should be doing, but you guys do it without the bat of an eye. It's just who your heart is. Think about that. And think about all those people helping one person, you know, and that just like sending waves of love and care out into the universe. This is where it's like, it's all coming back. It's all just being thrown at you, you know? It's just, here, take this. You deserve it because of your heart. Your great big heart cancer. So don't think, I don't deserve this. Like, don't do not do that to yourself. You know, oh, what did I do to deserve this? Your heart that beats for the universe. It's like bringing it all back in, you know? It's just so beautiful what I'm seeing here and and if you guys have not stood in front of the mirror today and, and said you know like look yourself right in the eyes and say I love you you know you should you should because you guys like I feel so much love from my team and spirit and the collective right now for you guys so you can think of it that way all that love that you gave out without restraint, all that energy, all that help, and all like it just through your community and beyond because everybody is like, it's like this network of generosity and kindness. It's coming back. It could be somebody very specifically for a few of you, somebody that you helped out ages ago okay i'm doing the nanny pointing finger i apologize for that and now they're doing really well <clears throat> and they want to check on you and they want to help you okay so say yes okay the wheel the wheel comes back around like this is like if you think of a of a ferris wheel has anybody ever been on one and not screamed <laughs> I'm terrified of heights but you know you get on and you get to the top and then oh, you come back down and you're kind of maybe stuck sometimes your wheel went backwards it was very uncomfortable your wheel is about to turn forward 
And you earned this, Cancer. You deserve this because you are the... This is a weird analogy. You guys are like the, the WD-40 in the machine, you know? You're making other people work. It's like the Wizard of Oz when they have to find the oil for the Tin Man. That's you guys, you know? You're oiling all these tin people so that they can stand up and walk without creaking. You know, you guys are just amazing and your wheel is just about to turn forward. Just say thank you and then dance your way to the bank because you earned this with your heart, even though you weren't even trying. And that is the most beautiful thing of all. I love you guys, okay? So give yourselves a big hug. Um, I'm gonna go, <laughs> okay? Take care, bye.